Entrepreneur Tony Shea delivered on a vision to change downtown Las Vegas and his lasting legacy will carry on in new projects launched by our new leaders in our city. And this is the fourth part of our investigative series on Tony Shea, the rise, the fall, the future. Here's 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels. The vibe of downtown Las Vegas is alive and thriving. East Fremont Street is in the middle of a major enhancement project and Circa Hotel and Casino just opened up amid the pandemic. There is much, much more on the horizon. The growth of downtown Las Vegas continues despite the recent economic downturn. New apartments are going up in the shadows of the Smith Center for the Performing Arts. There's optimism even more things are coming. And the city is working on so many other great initiatives around Cashman Center, trying to bring in an MLS soccer team, uh, building up new office space, attracting new technology and new businesses to downtown. Um, I really think that downtown is going to be uh, you know, growing exponentially. Carolyn Wheeler is with the Downtown Vegas Alliance. She says downtown's prime position links back to Tony Shea's involvement. So Tony Shea had such an impact in downtown. He really took um, his vision and his enthusiasm for the area and was able to help diversify the downtown economy. She points to the Arts District as a source of pride for the city's growth potential. There's also the Smith Center for the Performing Arts, the Discovered Children's Museum, the Mob Museum, plus new residential development percolating. If you think about people like Derek Stevens, if you think about Elon Musk and his conversation about bringing the Hyperloop down to downtown. Um, again, the residential developer, Sam Cherry. Casino owner Derek Stevens says there's fortune in the future for Las Vegas. His new resort, Circa, is the first one built from the ground up in downtown Las Vegas in the past 40 years. It opened in late 2020. I, but I'm pretty bullish about what's going to happen in the second half of 2021. And I definitely think 2022 is going to start just, it'll be roaring everywhere. If Elon Musk and the Boring Company expand to downtown, it would create an underground Vegas loop that includes Allegiant Stadium and the airport. Cherry Development just finished Share Downtown, a 63-unit apartment building in the Arts District, a sign of a bright future for downtown Las Vegas, and many see Tony Shea's lasting legacy for decades to come. All mourn the loss of Tony. But the great thing that he did was he really was able to build leaders in our community. Still, there's a lot to sort out. DTP, the revitalization effort launched by Tony Shea in 2012, has vast holdings with murky futures. Current assets include the Downtowner Hotel, Corduroy Bar on Fremont, Gold Spike, and Downtown Container Park. 13 of Eskates has learned through hundreds of pages of court documents, Shea's family has filed a notice of sale for more than 100 properties in downtown Las Vegas. They include the Hydrant Club, Gold Spike, the current Zappos headquarters, the Container Park, and the Bunkhouse Saloon. Shea's personal financial affairs and his vast wealth of as much as $1 billion are a big question mark since there doesn't appear to be a will or any written instructions for his estate. Shea's father and brother are special co-administrators for his estate and will have to begin investigating his finances, which likely include real estate and business ventures. These two lawsuits have been filed against Shea's estate. They come from Tony's previous assistant at Zappos and longtime friend. The suits claim Tony was not close with his family. In fact, the paperwork adds Tony's brother Andrew was offered a $1 million salary in exchange for moving to Park City. The filings go on to claim Tony had agreements and contracts and are seeking money for breach of those contracts. We reached out to attorneys representing Tony's family and estate, but a request for comment was not acknowledged. There's several ideas being talked about on how to honor Tony Shea. There's already a mural that's been painted in downtown Las Vegas, and there's even a petition to rename parts of 6th Street near Fremont in honor of Tony Shea. Joe Bartels, 13 Investigates.